Hey there beautiful mama and beautiful baby bump. So I had a few comments um, after one of my webinars asking about um, how you can best connect with your baby bump. And um, this is a beautiful question because it just makes such a difference to you enjoying your pregnancy even more if you're able to really connect with your baby. Now, I understand that some of you may be reluctant to connect immediately because, you know, um, a lot of us, me included, um, are concerned that we might miscarry. So it may take you a few months until you're feeling confident to really connect with your baby. I know for one that I really, I put off buying anything for hours until I'd reached around <clears throat> six months. That's 28 week mark when the baby would be viable should it have to come out um, is when I could really let go and do um, a lot of the connecting pieces. But before that, you know, I couldn't help myself because obviously um, I was hoping that um, they would stick around. So here are a few of my tips and tricks and I really encourage you to do it because it does mean that um, you get a lot more pleasure from your pregnancy. So the first thing I did, and I did it more with my first and second when I actually had time, was I bought myself a beautiful book from an English um, chain called Paper Chase. They've got gorgeous um, books and notebooks and things like that. Um, every husband's nightmare, I'm sure. And um, I made it a pregnancy diary. And in there, anything that I'd learned from pregnancy books or from pregnancy um, documentaries, of which there are many that I could um, put some links below to after this um, video, um, yeah, anything I'd learned, I would put in a pregnancy diary and I would write to the baby, you know? So it was a bit like writing a love letter to her. I'd be like, oh my goodness, you know, I'm four weeks pregnant today, you're the size of whatever it is. And then I'd say, I've learned all these things about you and this is how I'm feeling. So it would kind of be like a dialogue, you know, if you're saying like, I'm feeling really nauseous or this and that, um, and I wonder how you're feeling. Or, and I just remember thinking about things like, my goodness, like their taste buds are being developed this week or their eyelashes or their fingerprints and just being amazed at all these amazing facts like that their heart actually starts beating after three weeks of being conceived you know that's just amazing and I remember kind of you know writing this when I was in bed and elbowing my husband going oh isn't this great like you should know about it why don't you want to watch all these things with me or read this book and he's just like yeah yeah you're all right you know so I think it's something that can really help initiate the bond with your baby and get you really excited. Um, I also would write letters to the baby, um, just, you know, even separate from the actual pregnancy diary where I'd be like, you know, I wonder who you're going to be and this is how much I already love you. And again, I've got um, some beautiful examples of that, not just written by myself, but um, by some women I've worked with, if you'd like to see some of those for inspiration. Um, I also sang to the baby every single morning when I took my shower because I thought that's just an easy ritual that's part of my every normal day routine, right? So I chose a song that I liked from a children's film and um, basically I did that because I'd heard that once the baby's born, if it's upset and inconsolable, should it suffer from colic or teething or whatever, a fever, they'll be so familiar with the song that you've decided to sing every single day, at least once a day, which is a shower, right? Um, that it should really help calm your baby down when it's earth side. So I thought, well, what have I got to lose? So I chose the bare necessities with all of them because I just love that song. And I would just sing it while I was having a shower, one, two, three times. And they absolutely loved that song when they were born. You could tell they were aware of it, you know, that they, they were familiar with it and it really did help calm them down. Um, plus it's just something nice, you know, to sing and massage your bump at the same time um, while you're having the shower. That's the other point that I did was um, I would always use bio oil to make sure I didn't get stretch marks. And I have to say, touch wood after five pregnancies, it did the trick. So just having a lovely massage as well after you've had a shower and just talking to your baby bump or even just you know, massaging it, there's something beautiful you can do. And if you've got children already, then getting them involved in that is really nice too, because you're basically saying, oh, you know, could we just massage the baby, or little baby's in there, and you can sing to it or talk to it right now, and it really helps. It became part of the morning and nighttime routine that my kids um, would massage the bump as well, once I'd had some. Um, watching videos and documentaries, like I said, on 
them being in utero and reading books is amazing as well. And yeah, I will include some links below. Naming the baby um, is also nice. So even though you may not know if you're having a boy or a girl, we never did, you can still name the baby um, to make it more real, right? So we invariably used the name Bambino for a lot of hours or Froglet Sproglet, I don't know why, or um, the Longlet, the baby Longlet, because our surname is Long, so it became the Longlet. Um, but I've heard all kinds of variations from like, oh, let me see, Olive um, was one of our friends used because they said if it's a girl, we'll call it Olive, and if it's a boy, we'll call it Oliver, or um, Prawn, or Peanut, or Baby Bean, or um, I don't know, Monkey Menace, because I guess that could be unisex, but you know, come up with your own endearing name and then it's something that you and your partner can call the baby already and it really does help make you feel connected. The other thing you could do is meditate with your baby. Um, I'm currently producing and creating a meditation specifically for this, for mama and baby connection time. So you could listen to that um, or you could just listen to some music and think of your own words and your own thoughts to add to it. I also have a wonderful friend who is a Sula, so that might be something that you'd like to know more about. She basically um, puts you in a kind of trance, or she can do it online or in person, and you connect with the spirit of your unborn child through a state of kind of hypnosis. And I did it with my last pregnancy, because I only knew her during that period of my life, and it was astoundingly amazing. I conversed with my child for three hours um, and found out so much about her. It was incredible. That may be a little bit out there and um, woo woo, but it was really cool. So it, that might be something that interests you to explore. Um, other tips, let me have a look here. Um, coloring in books or just drawing to your painting or yeah, you can get specific pregnancy coloring in books. I'm also creating those um, if that were to interest you. Um, Silly things like actually buying the clothes for the baby and buying the cot and the pram and going through all that is it's all ritualistic things, you know, preparing yourself for the baby is coming and it's incredibly satisfying. If you're someone who's really crafty, you may even choose to make some clothes for the baby or make a beautiful blanket or throw that, you know, could be unisex, you don't know the sex, or you can make a beautiful mobile or you could decorate the nursery. Um, there's all kinds of things you can do to connect with the baby later on. Um, I also loved um, having my bump tattooed, so doing henna tattoos that would last a good month or so. That was really beautiful because it just made me feel, you know, really gorgeous and the bump as well. Um, and you could even have birthing rituals about a month before the baby is due. Um, when I lived in this amazing community here in Costa Rica, we had um, a birthing ritual evening where we built a fire and we were drumming and singing and writing poems to the baby, painting to the baby, had a meal celebrating the baby, um, made a plaster cast as well of the bump so that um, once the baby was born we could put its hands and footprints on it and my other children's as well. So there's all kinds of things you can do to really like get excited and connect with the baby. Um, and obviously get your partner involved as much as possible because that makes it obviously feel all the more exciting and real. And I think that's my top tips. Apart from one more thing, you could also create special you time. And by that I mean you could um, go for a lovely swim, especially when you're heavier. It just makes you feel so much lighter and more oh, just freeing. But you know, that could be you time. You could go for a massage because there are pregnancy massages you can do so you don't have to lie on your tummy but lie more to the side and or in a special chair and just dedicate that time to the two of you and you could even bring like a meditation track along with you to the massage or reflexology session or whatever you know floats your boat basically but yeah use that time to connect with your baby with a special meditation or some songs you like so there you go I hope that's been useful and helps you and your baby connect